Kyle Hughes, uh, I don't really like to call myself a personal trainer, but I mean, statistically, yes, that's what people call me. Um, or I like to call myself a life coach um, and mentor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Carl, now I'm going to try to keep this camera uh, held tight. Um, quick question. How did this all come about? Because we were talking earlier off camera, and you mentioned that you were working with a client as yeah, a friend. It a was, friend. Uh, it, was, uh, it was actually um, by coincidence. That part I actually didn't even mention to you. It was actually by coincidence uh -huh. that I had actually met Kerwin before I actually had met Kerwin Sr. and everybody else. Okay. I was at Lifetime, ended up playing against his son at a pickup at uh, Samuels Park. Okay. And I was like, hey, hey, you know, this kid's got some skill. And, and I was talking to him. Then I mentioned, like, you know, I would take the time and train you if you'd be interested. And then, um, you know, I'm here often, so just let me know. And, you know, it was kind of one of, you know, his dad was kind of like, oh, okay, cool. Then, Time flies, and I, you know, I'm still training his brother, which I didn't even know that was his brother at the right, time. Right, right. So, brother was telling me about this spot that he has in Edina, and I was just like, okay, I'll come check it out, because I know that his brother was trying to, you know, get back into the field of playing men's leagues basketball and mm -hmm. uh, 40 plus leagues and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, he's an OG. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we pull up to the gym, you know, I'm about to get set up, and then all of a sudden. Five, six kids walk in. Juan Walton, Carl Walton, Little Carl, um, Zeke Naji, Elvis Naji, and then Maya Naji. And I'm like, I didn't ask to train all these kids. So like, what's, what's going on? You know, I, I was taking a break from the athletic world. So, right, like, right. them all just showing up. I'm like, dude, like, what are we doing? He's like, well, nigga, it's cool, bro. We just, we just gonna get this session in. Like, come on, we good. Yeah. So, obviously, I had to elevate the session because, you know, these kids are totally at a different level than them. Inferno is so. End up taking a session. You know, I had to pull something out of out of my butt. <laughs> you know, and right, then right. his dad loved it. And then it just turned into a a super strong relationship. Uh, he talked about how like he loved the session and how it was different from what he was doing with his son. Right. Awesome to correlate together with the ultimate goal of mm -hmm. him just you know getting to where he wants to be, right. or where he's in now. Right. You know, right. And since then, it's just been a thing where I just he's been throwing me kids left and right, you know, right. seeing the train um, from kids like Cade Haskin to mm -hmm. Dalio, uh, McKenzie that's Illinois, right. uh, Paige Paige was around for a little bit, mm -hmm. um, just left and right. I'm just getting a bunch right, of kids, right, right, and then right. it just turned into a thing where I actually just ended up being here all together, um, and yeah, I've been here since. You know, I okay. Really, Locked in a job for nine to five. I've just been focusing on this craft. So, so let's talk about that. I, my, my question is: so you're focusing on your craft and you're giving out quality service. Mm -hmm. How important is that? Because you came in here just to work out with one person as a favor, and right. then all of a sudden you create you 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 gave value. Yeah. And by you giving that value, yeah. All of a sudden it led to three years later. Right. And you don't have a job, right. but you have a job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, it was really just like if, if I was gonna do it, like I'm not a I'm not a half ass person. Right. So if I was gonna do it, like it's like, okay, you gotta really be an athlete again. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like granted I was an athlete, but I always I always did things in a manner just based off of, you know, listen to your coach and listen to your trainer. Yes. But then like now me becoming the person of authority, it's like you gotta think outside of your normal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and you also have to be the person to be able to show example. So then now it's like, I got to be in shape. You know what I mean? Exactly. So I have to train myself to train them. Exactly. Uh, and that's pretty much what it, it became with me perfecting my craft. It's like, okay, now I can't train. Like, I'm just trying to stay in shape and, you know, look good here and there. It's like, no, I have to actually put myself in a position to where when I show this to somebody, I, it's perfection. It's like, you need to be able to do this better than I can. You know, you get a lot of people that uh, get into this training room. They just tell people what to do left and right. But it's like, how do you know if they're? How do you? How does? How does the kid know if they're really doing it right? If you can't even really show them the perfect, perfect way to do exactly. it. Exactly. So, so basically, you're taking the journey 
in yeah. advance. You yeah. took in the customer journey, the client's yeah. journey, yeah. and how important that is. Because now you know the outcome because you have an intimate relationship with the process. Yeah, I pretty much became a student. Like, like I literally just became a student athlete myself um, mm -hmm. in a way where I had to research, learn, and then test things on myself, seeing if this worked, that worked. Mm -hmm. And then just continue to experiment. And then as I experimented and realized, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this can do this, this, and this, and that, and that. And then I began to share it and, ex and expose it to the, to the athletes. And it's, it's worth wonders, you know? I, I, it's, it's amazing to see how, how these kids move and how they're doing and what they're doing. And what's so beautiful about what you just shared with us is that is the process to any successful business is that they actually take themselves through the journey. Yeah. They become a client of the product or the service that yes. they want to provide. Yes. And I, I mean, right now, I guarantee you, this was, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna find this invaluable. So I appreciate you telling, uh, sharing your story. No, no and uh, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna get this together for you. And uh, we're gonna put this on table. I'm gonna get you a little intro. All right. <laughs> we're gonna look good, all right? All right. Hey, thank you for taking time out. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> Thank you.